so you were thinking I wasn't coming back, right? Sorry, here I am again. Alberto Iglesias, drumsticks at the channel, a different pair of drumsticks every week. And what happens is that the, the, on Monday I was coming back from Sevilla. Um, I have two rehearsals this week with my band, with uh, 14 Cuerdas, so I just have two days to study and I think it was it wasn't fair that I was talking about a pair of drumsticks that I've been using just for today. So I decided that it's better to, to start again this week, the next week. And I'm gonna use this video to talk to you a little bit about the Tam Tam Drum Fest uh, 2017, okay? Um, so first of all, you have to know that uh, Tam Tam Drum Fest, Drum Fest uh, it's organized by, uh, by Tam Tam Percussion. It's a great shop that we have here in, in Sevilla, in Spain. And, uh, well, the, the captains of this uh, uh, drum fest and this shop, is, uh, they are uh, my friends uh, Jose and Victor Manzanares. Amazing guys, awesome guys, and um, they, they are the captains. They have a great team and they all together, they, you know, they, they, they created this this uh, amazing drum fest that uh, it's the um, 11th uh, edition this year so uh, it's it's kind of an it's already an international uh, uh, drum fest it's really really well recognized all around the world and it's awesome that we have here in, we have that here in Spain so um, in fact, this year the the, 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 the fest started in, on, on Friday for me because uh, Mark Juliana was, was going to Sevilla uh, in his uh, European tour. He was going in there to, to with, well, because of the new album, because of the jersey. And it was great. Well, uh, as many of you know, I have a chance to study with him in 21 Drums in Dublin two years ago. And so, watch him, you know play again and live and, and talk with him and, and, and meet again, is, 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 it was great. Um, well, first of all, for those of you that don't know Mark Juliana, shame on you, <laughs> first of all, uh, this is Mark. Uh, believe me, you have to recognize that, that face because it's, it's, it's going to be part of the history, for sure. Um, drum history and um, he's an awesome guy great guy and his mind pff, you, 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 yeah, I mean <laughs> I was blown away the, the first time that I listened how he he he's playing music he's playing drums it's, it's amazing unbelievable great guy at the same time so um, it was great to, to watch him it's the, the, the best way to start the weekend um, well, talking about the, uh, the Sunday, that's the day of the festival, um, they open at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and there's, you know, a lot of, uh, lot of drums there, a lot of cymbals and, and cajun and a lot of stuff, a lot of noise too, <laughs> everybody's trying everything and playing and you know. Uh, well, but then the, the, the festival starts at the 11, I think. And uh, well, first, big my my my, my brother <laughs> Victor, it's uh, always introducing a little bit the festival, and this year it was great because he is, he started talking about the rest of the Spanish festivals. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's a great way to start uh, you, when you are presenting your your festival. And uh, well, the the main. He, he was trying to explain that it's kind of important that we all support that kind of this kind of, of events because um, it's 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 good for the business for for drums in general and for the, this 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 business. So well after Victor, uh, he was he, we have kind of a surprise this year because the festival was opened by a, a, a ten years old <laughs> child. It's called Alex Valiente. This, this is Alex. Have a look. Cool, right? Great drum. And he, he went there to sit down and just play and sing at the same time. And it was unbelievable, man. 
it was a great lesson, I think. It's, it's sometimes you just have to go for it and forget about everything. And so, believe me, for a 10 years old guy, go there with, the, with you know, the theater was full of drummers <laughs> and a lot of famous drummers all around. And uh, so, so I think you have to have um, big balls <laughs> to do that. So, Alex, congratulations, man. Was was awesome. Um, well, after after Alex, uh, the, the the next uh, uh, drummers. Well, they, they were. It was a couple of drummers. Well, a couple of a drummer and a percussionist. It was uh, uh, Raúl Pineda, which is this guy. And Fausto Cuevas, this other guy. Well, as you can see, it's a couple, and, and it's a couple of musicians, I mean. And, and well, it was great to watch them um, playing like, like, like one people, the one person. It was uh, unbelievable the way they react to each other and, and how they you know, change what they were doing because they were hearing what the other one was doing and all that stuff. Uh, it, I think it was a great, le a great lesson too because um, sometimes it's not that it's not about doing your you know doing your thing for the music, but it's great. But if, when you are working together, you have to work together to to you know to add value to the music, um, and it was amazing. Uh, okay, after them. Uh, uh, the stage was for Teddy Campbell, which honestly, well, this is Teddy Campbell. Honestly, I didn't have an idea of, of, of this drummer. I have never watched him playing or something like that. Um, he's, he's kind of a gospel, funk, show drummer. A lot of power, a lot of groove, it's unbelievable, but it was awesome because he also sings uh, when he plays. In fact, he, he explained that um, he has a band where, where he's the singer, so it was awesome. I, I, I was talking to him at the end of the show and asked him, okay, because I sometimes I have to also sing a little bit, uh, chorus and all that stuff. The terrorists and all that, and and uh, he well, I asked him, oh, do you have any advice? And he told me, just keep doing it, man. <laughs> just the, the more you do it, the, the the easier it's gonna get for you. So uh, great, great drummer, great, unbelievable. Uh, okay, after Teddy, uh, the the last one in the morning was Felix Lerman. It's it's an um, well, this is this is Felix. Okay, and uh, it's an, a German drummer. Uh, didn't know anything about him. Uh, he's uh, kind of famous there now. He's playing a lot with a lot of different people, and, but honestly, he was such a great guy, explaining everything. He was a little bit nervous, and, and he was explaining everything. He's kind of funny, talking and all that, and it was great. He was. We were really, really, we enjoy a lot his explanations and all that. And the, the, the lesson I get from, from Felix is, uh, he explained that he plays with a lot of different people now, uh, but nowadays when somebody call him for a, for a project or something like that, he said that I really don't care about the, the style and all that. The only thing that worries me is, um, I, am I able to to add value to this music? Uh, and it's a great lesson, I think. Sometimes you have to forget a little bit about the styles and I know I just like this music and this other music and all that. And just focus on, on, on your work and say, okay, I'm, I'm good. am I going to be able to add something to this? And that's awesome. Um, cool, so then, then we have a time for, for you know, um, for lunch and all that, and in the evening, my northern brother from just next to 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 Cantabria is in uh, um, Asturias. It's my brother Jairo Ubiano, with uh, with 
three musicians, amazing musicians. Uh, so they, they, they give a concert, a small concert, short concert, that it was unbelievable. Well, Hyrule, for those of you that, well, stop again, and here you have uh, uh, Jairo Ubiano and Jairo Ubiano's band. Cool, right? Uh, okay, they are well. The the, the Jairo is it's one uh, um, is one of the biggest drummers, the Spanish drummers that we have now. Uh, he has a lot of uh, um, well, he's he's an amazing worker. He he work his ass off <laughs> to to be better every day, and and he's an amazing guy, awesome guy too at the same time. Um, and and well it was great to watch him play it watch him play a solo and all the music the group the style all that was was amazing as always so uh and watch him play there in the tantrum fest it was uh great man it was it was you know i told you it's it's it was a great show and it was a great performance and all that so uh after uh, kaido we have the last uh, discover for me that it was Pete Wright Biggie. Well, I, I heard about him, he's a, he's a level 42 uh, drummer, and but he also been playing with Amy One has one a lot of people, he's an, uh, um, an English drummer, and, uh, and well. He, he talked a lot, he, he didn't play so much, he, he explained more than he played, which is great, I think. It's, it's a, this kind of events that are a great opportunity to, to, to listen to the, the drummers and, and, and listen how they understand the, the, the business on, on drums in general. So he's playing, uh, I have two things that I learned from him. First thing, it was the group is gonna pay your bills. <laughs> Uh, he was talking about okay, it's great to play that kind of chops and all that, but in the end, when you know people is gonna hire you mainly for the groove and for the tempo and be stable and you know moving the van and all that, you know. So it's it's kind of important to 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 learn that. Uh, uh, great lesson, I think. Um, on the other hand, he explained that um, the difference of approach when he's playing live or playing in studio. Uh, in fact, uh, somebody asked him about that, and he he did a um, he he did a, he made a sample. Uh, he played a piece, of, uh, you know, a small part of the song uh, first in in live version with a lot of show, a lot of movements and energy and all that, more volume, all that you know, all that stuff. And then he played the studio version. He was more relaxed, more contained, low volume, more focused, you know. Uh, it was great to see the difference. And uh, from a pro, I mean. So it was a great show too. And okay, after Pete, you know, the, gra the great Todd Suckerman, uh, well, first of all, here we have Todd. Well, I, I knew Todd for all videos and all that. Although it's not, the, the, his style is more prog progressive uh, rock and all that stuff. It's not my thing, but you know, watch him play, it's, it's amazing, man. It's, the way he plays, the, the definition, the, the speed, the precision is it's you can hear every every stroke pretty clear you know the double bass well, you know everything it's, it's it's so perfect when he plays it's kind of it's it's delightful it's it's, it's unbelievable what he plays live and uh, as you have seen in the in the in the picture uh, he put the, the set looking to the left so we were able to watch him play. I was talking to him and at the end of the show, and and we talk about that and I say, oh man, it was great idea. I said, yeah, I think it's better for because you can see and, and it's completely true. You can you can see every movement for you know if you if you are into his thing, 
you can analyze better what he's doing and all that stuff. And it was it was pretty original to see that. And okay, after Todd, the great, the one and only Mr. Benny Gray. Uh, for those of you that don't know Benny, this is Benny playing. And uh, this is Benny with a Spanish talker, which is this guy. Okay, Benny is the one on, on the left, okay. <laughs> so, uh, well, for those of you that know me, uh, it's, it's, uh, Benny is my reference as a player. Uh, of course, I, I like a lot of players, but Benny is my, my, you know, role model, let's say, and as a player. Um, I love the way he plays, I love the way he understands the instrument. I always say that, that, that um, Benny for me, it's kind of a scientist of, of drums. <laughs> He study everything, he analyze everything, he, he is very, you know, he analyze everything, the tuning, the sound, everything is, is a lot of, uh, he, well, he's, and also he's, I have a chance to study with him in, in one of his master sessions in Germany. He's an amazing guy too, and, um, and it's always great to watch him. In fact, we have it, we're gonna have it, uh, we're gonna have him here in Spain for, uh, for three different days in, in Zamora, in, in Madrid, and in Barcelona. This, this month, so I'm gonna watch him again. <laughs> uh, it's always great. You always learn something when you, you know. And you know, it's his, he's hilarious in the, uh, when he's on stage and the way he's playing things and all that. It's, it's awesome, as always. So, uh, after, well, of course, a lot of stuff during the day. Uh, my, my friends from Seven Drums on a Spanish uh, drum channel, you have to check that out if you haven't. Seven Drums, with, with, uh, uh, you, you can check that. Um, uh, well, they were making a kind of a contest during the day for, with, with Roland and, and uh, he finally, uh, one guy won a, a Roland, uh, I don't remember the model, an electronic kit. Uh, well, a lot, lot of things during the day, and after the show, uh, we, you know, we have a chance to go to the uh, cafeteria, and, and 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 they were all there. We, you know, they can sign things, and they can, you know, we you have a chance to talk with them. I can talk a little bit with Benny again, to Jairo, to Todd, or different, all of them, and it's great to spend some time with them. In fact, we we are. You know, we are really lucky that in this in this business, let's say like that, um, all the top players, or most of them, are pretty normal guys. You can talk with them, but they're accessible. You can uh, talk to them. You can ask everything you want and all that stuff, and it's great. Um, so, as every year, it, it, it's it's unbelievable to to go to spend this weekend there in in Sevilla. Uh, it's it's uh, it's awesome. <laughs> Honestly, so I want to add something um, more in general about this kind of events. Uh, some sometimes people ask me because oh, but you you haven't been playing for a long time. Why you are? Why you go there? Why you? Okay, first of all, I don't have a lot of experience as a drummer, but I've been an entrepreneur. I have a company. We've been working for others as an engineer and all that stuff. And honestly, these kind of events are common in. All businesses. I mean, you you have a hotel. You you have this kind of congress and all that stuff related to hotels or tourism and all that stuff. So, uh, I mean, if you are a pro, if you play drums as, as uh, for living, I honestly I think you have to go once in a while. You, have, you don't have to go to all that kind of events, but you you have you can go um, maybe one two times a year. Uh, because it's the place where you can establish relationships, you can learn what's happening in, in, in your business in, and learn what's, uh, what's about the new players, what's the pl people that from your country, other players from other cities and, and you know, uh, know people and know the new products, new, uh, you know, companies and all that stuff. It's, it's a great place to interact with other people and you have to be there uh, you have to be in your business uh, if you 
if you are um, doing that for a living. Uh, of course, I know that it's a lot of drummers that that say, okay, I never go to that because I can, or okay, for sure. But if you can, it's great to to spend one day there with your with your drum brothers. <laughs> so if you are not a pro, I mean, if you're just doing this for fun, uh, it's a great chance to know your favorite drummers, to know, you know, to touch new products, to new, new symbols, uh, you know, to spend, it's, it's, it's just fun, it's super fun to stay there. So um, go there, go to Tam Tam, go to other festivals in Spain if you have a chance. At least go once and see if you like it or not. Try different ones every year. Um, and it's a great way to um, to charge your batteries, you know? Sometimes you need to, you are every day playing and, and uh, you know, you need, sometimes you need somebody to push you. You can talk with your favorite drummer and say, oh man, I have this problem. You have a lot of, uh, we are super lucky of that, I think. Um, and we have to support and, and all this stuff, all that stuff that is happening. So it, it's just, of course, my opinion, you can do whatever you want, but um, I think it's once in a while, it's great to, to be there. Uh, and well, as a per, at a personal level, it's always great to find my, my to meet my, my brothers, uh, in my family in, in, in Sevilla and, and all over Spain, to, Manuel Reina, Rafael Raval, Jairo Viano, Cristian, well, a lot of uh, cheeky, of course, te cheeky this year, <laughs> uh, Mark from Visa, uh, to um, Ar Arlesa too. Well, it's, you know, it's to meet your friends every year, at least once a year, and to add new members to that family and to, you know, to listen to stories and to listen to experiences. Of the, this happened to me there in that concert and all that stuff. It's, it's super fun. It's, it's it's great. This year, especially, I have a chance to to spend a weekend with my new brother Mickey Grau. That you have, if you like Steve Jordan, it's it's kind. Of, well, I I I say he's is um, Steve Grau Jordan. It's our Spanish version. He's super fun. He's he's been studying Steve for a long time, and he has a channel too where he is playing all the Steve things and you know technique uh, um, you know uh, everything related to, to Steve and, and uh, at the same time it's it's unbelievable to watch Mickey play and the way he plays the groove and all that stuff awesome channel please check check that out if you can if you like Steve Jordan it's, it's a, a great way to to understand some something you know um, some parts of, of his technique and, and, and all that stuff. Um, and I also love, well, of course, meeting uh, Jose Antonio from Iberdrum and Manolo, his, his mate. Um, uh, thank, thank them again, you know, be able to thank for, for his support and in the channel and all that stuff. And at the same time, it's great to meet the, you know, that people that you all have, you only have a relationship through Facebook or social networks and all that to finally watch, the, you know, to, to meet in person in 3D. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. So um, to say hi, to, to, you know, to give them a hug and all that stuff. Like, I know, Juan de la Oliva, uh, uh, Inigo Rivarne, uh, Diego Contreras, Jose Rosendo, uh, Manu, Dran, from, we met past year too, Patricio, where people that you usually have only a, you know, you can only contact through social networks and, and it's great to meet them in person once a year. Uh, so, just to, to end up, I'm gonna show you, because this is a drumstick channel, um, I'm gonna show you some of the drumsticks that I, I, I get from Tantan or get from the festival and that are gonna be part of the channel for, you know, the next month or month and a half or something like that. Okay. The, the first one is just the new, it's kind of a, a new models that are, one new series that I have this year, that it's the, the Promark Firegrain series. 
Okay, as you can see, the, uh, well, the, the theme of this, uh, this model, so this series, is that they have, it has, uh, it's been treated by, um, with a flame, um, flame temporary hickory drumsticks. So, uh, it adds, at least it uh, uh, looks like here, uh, this, this treatment adds um, uh, strength and durability to the drumstick. So, I'm gonna check that out and see how it, well, you know, durability is kind of difficult to test here because it's just a week, but, um, we, you know, you can, uh, let, let's see if, if uh, apart from that, if it has a different influence or maybe in the grip or something like that. Uh, uh, let's check that out. Uh, and at the same time, it's one of the models, is, I think it's this one, no, it's this one, is the rebound version, which is uh, a request of, I don't remember now who requests that, but say the Promark uh, rebound uh, model. Uh, he asked about a 5B, this is a 5A, but I think it's kind of the same theme because of the different tip and all that stuff. But, um, and the fire grain version, I, I don't think has any influence in the rebound and all that. It's just more a durability thing. Uh, but, so I'm gonna check that out. Um, okay, another option is the, the uh, I have the, A, well, the American Jazz AG1, um, uh, American Jazz One. Uh, it's kind of a classic in Bigford. I have this because Mickey, Mickey Grau, is, uh, um, is using this. And when he told me that, okay, it's time to check that out then. I think, honestly, just having the, you know, having a look and just having it in my hands and all that stuff, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it. Uh, but let's see what happens when I when test this, this pair. Uh, okay, another option here is the, for, for the special grip solutions series, I have this model, which is the Gavin Harrison model. Has this, you know, kind of layer here. Uh, kind of the peculiar tip, blended tip. Uh, okay, so let's see what happens with this. Uh, other option I have, it's also related to, to the grip series, is this new version from, um, from Promark, uh, which is called Active, Active Grip. It's uh, this layer, it's all over the, all, all over the, the, the drumstick, except for, you know, not, not the teeth, but the rest of the, of the drumstick. And okay, they are they have the logo of Tam 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 logo here, and it's it, let's see it's it's another option for for the grip thing you know, and finally I have this uh, model that uh, it's I think maybe two or three people uh, um, talk to me about this. It's the HD two Bolero from Bigfoot two, um. It's uh, kind of thick, but it's maple, it's super light, uh, small tea, but well, you know, it's, uh, as I was saying, maybe two or three people talk to me about this model, so I think, okay, it's time to check that out too. So, that's what I have here, maybe I can add a, you know, I have a request, two people ask me about the West Side model from Vader, but apparently it's hard to find out here in Spain. I'm trying, don't worry, I'm gonna... <laughs> I, I finally find that freaky model, but it's gonna take some time, apparently. Uh, Spanish, you know, the Vader distribution here in Spain, it's, uh, it's not very... Uh, you know, the, 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 I, I imagine there's, it's no, they sell more in the USA and all that, and, and so they don't have all models here, and you know, uh, but... Uh, don't worry, I, I'm, I finally get it. <laughs> so I promise you that. Uh, so, that's all for, for today. I hope you like it. Believe me, if you have a chance, go to one festival in your city, in your country. Uh, you know, choose one that has a, one of your favorite drummers. Choose one of, you know, you know or that has a, a show where you can check, you know, uh, and, um, New, new, new equipment and all, you know, choose the, the one that fits better for you, but have a look, you, you, believe me, you're gonna love it. That's all, so have a nice week, time to test, 
to start testing again. I don't, I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do this this um, for this next uh, week. So I do it this night and tomorrow I'll start testing. So it's kind of a surprise for the next week. Okay. Have a nice week. Keep drumming. Keep testing. Keep playing. And go, please go to the Tantrum Fest next year. Okay. Goodbye.